Hello and welcome to another training session. Today we have a long one for you, 60 minutes. But do not fret because it's going to fly by. We've broken this session down into really small manageable chunks and we're going to be on it all the time. You have to concentrate between each interval and keep on top of the work. So by the end of it, it's going to be a bit of a whirlwind. But stay with me, I'm going to direct you through it. And it's going to be a great one to build some form and also get some leg speed plus some strength work because we're going to vary the cadence quite a lot in this session and really get the legs turning in a way you're not quite comfortable with. So at the moment we're just starting off with a little warm up, two minutes at around 80 rpm, easy gear, one out of ten on the effort scale, starting to get into the session. If you're a little bit tired, you've had a long day at work, we've got up early to try this one out, this is your time just to get yourself in the right mindset, get the legs turning the way you want them to for when the work really starts later on in the session. Now we have Manny, Manon, Abby and Morgan there at the back joining us today. So I'm going to be looking to get the most out of you for today. I'm going to be wringing the sweat off by the end of this one. But not just yet, just to... Just, to... just in the warm-up. Don't yeah. get too carried away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get carried away in the warm-up. I know you're chomping at the bit. 30 seconds to go <laughs> in this part of the warm-up. And then we're going to just increase the intensity a bit, going out to 4 out of 10 on the perceived effort scale. Just starting to put some tension into the legs, start to increase the heart rate. And we're coming up to 10 seconds to go. If you want to, you can begin to get into gear now. Just raise the pace a little bit. This is when you kind of Got to wake the body up. So we'll bring it up now. So a minute, just at four out of 10. So pushing on the pedals. Feeling them burn a little bit as they wake up. And after this, we're going to knock things down again for two minutes. Another bit of easy riding. Just being gentle on the legs to begin with. So stay with me, 40 seconds left. This intensity. And I'll explain the rest of the session to you when we get into that easier two minute block. Twenty seconds to go. Should be starting to settle into a bit of a rhythm now. Know what you need to do for the session, know what you need to push to get the most out of your body. Five seconds to go and then we can knock it down a bit start to recover from this warm-up. Okay, now knock it down a bit. Two minutes now, easy ride and spin the legs. So this session is going to have varying cadences. So we're going to drop all the way down to 60 revs a minute. And then at times we're going to jump all the way up to 110 <laughs> revs per minute. So really varying it quite a lot. It's a great way to kind of activate the legs too and get them used to change, change in pace and rhythm that you can have on group rides or if you're out on your own on varying terrains. And I think it's really good to break a session up when it's an hour long because otherwise an hour can stretch into eternity. So we're never really going for four or five minutes in this session in terms of one block, one interval. Always changing, always doing something a little bit different. One minute to go, and then we're going to get into it with a five minute effort, four out of ten perceived, perceived uh, effort scale. And it's going to be at a lower cadence at 60 revs per minute. So, really kind of churning a bigger gear. If you haven't got anything to monitor your cadence with at home, try to stick to my rhythm. So, I'm going to Ride the correct cadence using the sensor on my bike. But 60 revs per minute is slow. It'll, it'll feel a lot, a lot more cumbersome than usual. How are we doing there, team? Good. Looking forward to this one. Ready to get started? Yeah. Well, we've got 10 seconds till this effort starts. Right, here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. 
you may need to up the resistance on your trainer just to get the gear right here because you are dropping it down quite a lot. This feels slow. Yeah. So 60 reps per minute. Think about engaging your glutes. Think about engaging all those muscles in the pedal stroke. Now the beauty of this session is it is, it is hard as it gets going because you're, you're changing your pace so often. Going from these quite low cadence efforts to suddenly spinning the gear and trying to up your effort intensity. So by the end, your legs won't really know what's hitting them. But that is what you can get out on the road and that's what's great for mixing up your fitness. And also this sort of effort, it rests your aerobic system a little bit, I find. So you're working a bit more on that strength work now rather than pushing your heart rate through the roof. So you're kind of working on those different systems throughout the session. So we've got about three minutes 50 to go on this one. Manon, how did you like to change up your cadence work when you were training? I used to do a lot of rollers work as well. Um, and I'd, yeah, I'd, on the, especially on the track, you work at such high cadences. Sometimes we do efforts working at 135 RPM, which is absolutely at the roof. But um, I'm not that good at working at really low cadences, so this is a great session for me. And Manny, from London, from the big city, have you ever ridden a fixie around? That's what the cities are famous for sometimes. <laughs> I don't like fixies. You don't like them? <laughs> no. We need to get money on a fixie. We do, we need to get on a fixie. I don't mind using one on the track, but you know, using a fixie in and around the city, oh, just, it's just a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it's a special breed to ride those. <laughs> but it's quite an old school training method that, so some racers back in the day in the winter, they'd ride for a month on a fixie with brakes on, but just one gear, working on that strength work and the time they had available in the off season when there weren't that many races on and they're just focusing on building their fitness for the race season ahead. <sighs> Two and a half minutes to go on this effort. Focus on your form, engage your core. Move around the bike if you need to. Still kind of warming the body up a little bit here. Start to feel your heart rate rise a little now. Man, on how many watts are you doing? 200. 200, that's about right. Probably about right for my size. It's probably like what? You're probably doing about 400. No, I'm trying to keep it still within myself, so it's four out of 10, so I'm kind of more around 300. Nice. It's more focusing on the pedaling technique, really, and keeping good form here. It is so easy just to start rocking and from side to side when you're yeah. using a big gear, but yeah, it's good to definitely concentrate on keeping your upper body nice and still. Yeah, definitely. And when we finish this little interval, we'll have two minutes where we start to push on a little bit more. I'm going to increase the cadence a bit more too. Pushing on the pedals just that little bit extra. I mean, once we finish that, then we're going to the opposite in terms of cadence. We're going for a high cadence, one minute effort, all out. Super, super hard before we drop down again to some low cadence work. Just under a minute to go now on this interval block. Keep pushing on the pedals. Concentrate. Coming up to 30 seconds to go now. It's going to be tough, this little change as well, going into a higher cadence. Get out of the saddle too if you need to. Don't be afraid to mix things up, but just try and concentrate on keeping that cadence right. Okay, 10 seconds, then we're going to change into a new effort. Three, two, one. Two minutes now. 
Staying at 60 reps per minute. Six out of 10 perceived effort. So up in that effort just a bit. You start to feel the sweat forming. And then as soon as this two minutes is over, we're going straight into a minute. Eight out of 10 perceived effort, 110 revs a minute. So that's spinning really as, as fast as you can. And this will be tough because you're going from a low cadence to a high cadence. So just totally different styles really. That's going to feel really weird on the legs going from yeah. 60 to 110. So we used to do this sort of session as a group out on the road. And you'd be told from the team car, the motorbike, when to change. And you'd have to stay riding like this until you were told to change. Some big long valley road in the mountains. How long would you have to ride at this cadence for? Never too long, so never more than we we're doing in this session. It's just about the shorter interval lengths. So between three and five minutes, really. Oh, they wouldn't make you do it for hours. No, no. <laughs> And it's just that it's more about the change from one cadence to another, which I think is so valuable. Yeah. Although there was one team I rode on which made us do low cadence in 30 minute blocks. Oh. Three or four times in a ride. Okay, 20 seconds to go. Time to get ourselves in the groove. We're gonna up things now. Eight out of 10 perceived effort. And we're spinning the legs, so Think about what gear you need to be in and get ready. Coming up to five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. Spin the legs. Get that cadence right up, over 100. Get to 110 if you can. Push, 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 push. Up, 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 up. Faster, 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 then a little drop. It's gonna start to hurt now. Keep it going. Drive to the line. Okay, well, 30 seconds to go. Halfway through this effort. Keep it going. Up, up, up. Up. Maximal effort. Keep it going, keep it going. Nearly there, 15 seconds to go. Come on, right to the end. No let up. Push. Five, four, three, two, one. And back it off. No, keep press on the pedals. Back to that low cadence work. That four out of 10. Back to that gear you were in originally for that five minute effort. We're doing it again for five minutes. Keep tension in the legs. Get yourself in the right gear. Find yourself at the right effort level. I'm back down to around 300 watts. I'm gonna sit here now for the next four and a half minutes. How are you getting on guys? Manny, how are you doing? Oh, it's good. <laughs> really, really good. It's, it's a tough one to go against what your head's telling you, isn't it? Mm. You just wanna ride at what you're comfortable with, but the session just puts you out of your comfort zone. And that's what it's about, just getting used to having to ride at different leg speeds. Man on, how are you feeling? Yeah, that, I found that okay making the initial switch, but then it came back to bite me at the end. So it was in like the last 10 seconds that my legs just wanted to stop. Yeah. But yeah. It's a weird effort, isn't it, when you change your speed like that? Yeah. It's what you're used to on the track. Yeah. In the velodrome, that's, yeah. that's, you're stuck in the, the gear you select. I think what this replicates when you're out on the road is, is those sort of terrain where you're just rolling up and down all day. And it's difficult to try and get that sort of, replicate that when you're in, you know, training indoors. So sessions like this where you go down to low cadence, doing this all like a, in a harder gear, and then coming straight up into high cadence. It's all good, it's just, you know, it stops you from just being metronomic. 
and just riding at a steady pace. It's just about teaching yourself to do different things. And I like that mixture. Yeah, definitely. I had a teammate once and he just liked to ride along like this everywhere. <laughs> never, <laughs> never pedaled faster than this. He was really strong. He did the first race in France for him, first pro race, and he managed to get the breakaway. And there's this really famous climb in southern France, super steep. And then um, he dropped all the breakaway <laughs> on this climb and he rode it in the big rig. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, it was still really far from the finish, so they eventually caught him and he got dropped. But um, after the race, all the French managers were like, who is this rider who rides up our climb in the big ring? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Marcus Christie. <laughs> Broke many a chain. A session dedicated to Marcus and his strong legs. Anyway, we're now under two minutes to go. Keeping that effort level, four out of 10. And then again, we're gonna ratchet things up. Another two minutes. Still at a low cadence, but starting to push on a bit more. Setting ourselves up for another one minute all out at a higher cadence. Get out of the saddle if you want. Engage your glutes. Think about all those muscles that you use in your pedal stroke that you maybe haven't thought of before. It's so easy to have kind of dormant muscles, I think, sometimes. Driving down through the pedal stroke. If 60 RPM does feel super slow for you and you're kind of struggling with it, don't be afraid to raise it a little bit, raise it up to 70, 75 revs a minute or drop the intensity a bit. Try to focus on your form and your technique. Prioritize that. It'll definitely make you more efficient when it comes to different sorts of effort levels and intensities and durations. Okay, so coming up to 30 seconds to go now. Back into the business end of this block. It's been quite a long one actually, up and down with no super easy sections. So well done for getting to this point. Keep it going though, keep the belief. Stay positive. That's what it's all about. 15 seconds now. Then I want you to ratchet up one or two gears, make things a bit harder for yourself. Here we go, five seconds. Three, two, one, and into it. Push things on. Where's it hurting, Manny? Everywhere. <laughs> I've engaged the glutes. I'm feeling it in the glutes, I'm feeling it in the hamstrings and around the Achilles area. <laughs> I'm engaging all the muscles right now. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Have a nice stretch for yourself in the evening. Not straight after the session, but just before bed, a few little stretches. Keep the muscles supple. Come up to one minute to go. And then it's game time. One minute all out, high cadence effort. Spinning that gear out, whizzing the legs around, putting yourself really into the red. And then we have some recovery, okay? So, a little bit of a respite to come. If you're watching this at home and you want to shout game time, do it. Right, 30 seconds to go. And it's time to really go for it. Eight out of 10, high cadence. Right, here we go, 10 seconds coming up, just about now. Think about what gear you're gonna get into. Get ready to change down. And spin those legs. Here we go. Now, right. Up, 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 up. 
High cadence from the gun, straight into it. Up the leg speed, up the leg speed, up the leg speed. Up, 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 up. High energy, come on. Up. The legs will be sluggish after all that low cadence, but keep them going. Keep spinning. Follow. Follow my leg speed. 20 seconds to go, nearly there. Keep your technique, keep your upper body still. Relax your shoulders, focus on your legs. Driving it home. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And easy riding. Knock it down, one out of 10. Keep the legs turning, but this is recovery now. Two minutes recovery. Relax, sip of water, get your breath back, deep breaths. Well done, that's the first block finished. Bit of a end to the chapter on this session now before we go into the next one. Hope you're enjoying the session so far, man. On how are you finding it? I'm not sure enjoy. Enjoying is the right word, but yeah, it's good. I'm feeling the burn in my legs, so that's a good sign. What about yourself, Manny? Just feeling that sort of improvement already in terms of technique, fitness. That's why you do these kind of rides, so you can enjoy those weekends. Yeah, definitely. And I think if you're doing this at home when you're on the indoor trainer, cadence work, it's, that's where the trainer really comes into its own because you can just focus on your leg speed and you don't have to concentrate about your surroundings and keeping safe on the road or even finding a blocker road which is so regular that you can perform such a duration of effort at a particular cadence mm -hmm. um, so any sort of cadence work is really really easy to do when you are on a static trainer but our recovery is coming to an end sip of water and then we're going into two minutes two minute effort six out of ten at a lower cadence For me, it's like everyone's got their reasons for training midweek. But for me, training midweek is all about trying to get to that fitness level where your rides just feel a little bit easier. You feel like you can enjoy yourself no matter what the terrain is. Yeah. That to me is really important even before competition. Definitely. Up the cadence, Manny. Sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> just going quickly in six out of 10, 60 cadence. So back to that kind of two minute effort we're doing in the earlier block at a lower cadence and just stay here for two minutes. Sorry Manny, what were you saying? I oh, just saying we all have our reasons for training. You know, some people want to train to get better for competition. Um, for me really like the reason why I train during the week is because I want to be able to enjoy my, you know, riding my bike and not feel like I'm suffering every time I'm, I'm on a bike, you know. It makes a massive difference when I can look at that local hill and just be like, oh, I'm actually in good shape. I can just fly up it rather than struggle up it. And so you can drop all your mates. <laughs> no, sir. Secretly. <laughs> you just want to drop everyone. For bragging rights as well. <laughs> oh, exactly. I mean, we all love cycling, but it is a lot more fun when you have a bit of fitness and can cruise a little bit more. But it comes quick. Like if you're struggling and you find this session hard, don't get down about it because just persevere for a week or two, just get some rhythm into your life, some routine, get a few sessions in every week and you will feel the improvement and it will get easier. So don't be put off if initially you're really struggling because it will come back or you will gain it. Okay, next interval is about to begin. I'm gonna keep it at the same effort level but we're gonna up the cadence back to 100. So really spinning the legs, and then again, we're gonna drop back down afterwards. So this is a real alternating cadence block now. So we've got 15 seconds to go, and two minutes, same effort level, but ramping up the cadence to 100. It's gonna feel awkward. It's gonna feel awkward on the legs. Three, two, one, and high cadence, knock the gear down and spin. 
You shouldn't need to change the effort or the resistance level on your trainer, but change down the gears a couple blocks so you can match the cadence that I'm doing right now. 100 revs per minute. I'm gonna sit at this for two minutes. I'm gonna drop down once more to a lower cadence. Really spinning the legs. It'll feel hard getting going. First 30 seconds will be really tough. We'll just try and settle into that rhythm. 100 reps per minute. And you'll also feel yourself working aerobically a bit more too. The legs might be burning a bit. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Bum, 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 bum. One minute. What was that? <laughs> that was a little metronome. <laughs> bum 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 bum. Fifty seconds to go. Keep it going. Keep them spinning. I'm gonna drop down. Woo! Feeling this one. Doing well. Keep with me. Session is flying by. We're nearly halfway already. Okay, thirty seconds. Keep picking it up, I just dropped down a sec there. Don't let your concentration lapse. Your legs will be starting to burn now. Okay, bear with it, bear with it. 10 seconds to go right now. Here we go to the end. Don't get lazy at the end of the block. And then when this finishes, up three gears. Three, two, one. Back down to a lower cadence, 60 reps per minute. Slow cadence. Keeping that effort level the same. You'll still be sweating. You'll still be working hard. Just riding at a different rhythm. How are you doing? Good, keep it going. Man, how are you finding this one? Yeah, good, tough. But it's not, it is starting to feel a little bit easier. My legs are, not easier, but my legs are getting used to working at that lower cadence. Whereas I, that first block, it felt like quite a shock to the system because I haven't ridden in that cadence for a while. But yeah, it's definitely burning as well. Yeah, it is a tough one, I think, changing between the two. And now this next one, we're going to finish this block off with a little bit of a sting in the tail. Oh. So. We're going to go up to another two minutes, but we're up in the intensity level on this last one. Spinning the, spinning the legs again, 100 reps per minute. But this time, 9 out of 10 perceived effort. So really going for it. For how long? Two minutes. Two minutes, 9 out of 10. Yeah, it's coming. 50 seconds. Whew. And then we've got a little bit of recovery again, another two minutes of recovery. Get it out of saddle if you need to. Okay, Manny. It never gets easy. You just go faster. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, inside 30 seconds to go. And then we've got two minutes of pain. Come on, this is it. Now get focused, 15 seconds to go. We're gonna up the cadence, spin those legs and really, really rinse ourselves here. Right, five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. And spin the legs, nine out of 10. As hard as you can go, spin, 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 spin. Woo! Feel those legs burn, get on top of the gear, and then settle down. Woo! Up, 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 up. Keep it going. No less up. Drive it, drive it, drive it. Push. Ah, middle point is. Always where your mind starts to wander. Keep focused. Keep pushing through on the cadence. 100 reps per minute or higher if you can. Woo. Up, up, up. Push over 100. There we go. Halfway through now. Nearly there.
50 seconds to go, keep spinning. No let up. Up, 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 up. Come on, last bit now, push, push, push. Get to the end of this. Keep with me. On the 30 seconds to go, come on. How are we doing, man? On? Yeah, good. Hurting. Well, it's 20 all good. seconds, nearly there, man. On. Come on. Happy Morgan, keep it going. 10 seconds. Last push, keep the leg going. Up it again. Five to go. Three, two, one. And relax. Easy gear, one out of 10, knock it down. Woo! Well done, everyone. Keep pedaling the legs. That was solid. Solid block that. Oh, what are you oh, doing to us, Connor? Keep sipping on the water. It's hard sometimes you have to concentrate on the session and what's coming next. Keep sipping. Woo. How you doing, Manny? <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> Oh. Tough one that. It is. It's hard doing the intense effort straight after that varying cadence. Oh. It's like getting going in the morning <laughs> without any coffee. <laughs> and this might would charge you up way too much. <laughs> okay. I would say I wouldn't necessarily do this kind of session later on in the evening. <laughs> I'd just be too jacked up. I couldn't be able to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> this would definitely wake you up in the morning, though, wouldn't it? Oh. Great session to do for work. I feel like I'm in a sauna right now. I know. It's cleansing, Working isn't it? Working up a sweat. <laughs> we need some facial. <laughs> <laughs> I want you wringing that jersey out by the end of this, Manny. <laughs> You're like a towel after a soggy night's sleep. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry about my metaphors. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, we are going into the next block. And this is, um, okay, I'm not sorry because it's going to do you good, but it's a little bit harder. So it's doing what we just did. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> uh, uh, Why are you laughing before well, we you got, even we said it? We've got another variation on it, so it's a little bit longer. Oh. So back to those two minute alternating cadence efforts, high, low, high, low for two minutes. At the end, that final all out burst. But we're adding in two more two minute blocks to it. Okay, team. So we're looking at 10 minutes in total. Oh, is that it? For this little block, yeah. Is there's that a bit, it? <laughs> there's a bit more to come. Manny wants more. I can make it harder for you, Manny. <laughs> I'll give Manny so. special, special uh, perceived effort scores yeah. for me. Okay, 20 seconds to go anyway. I'm going to start off with a higher cadence. Six out of 10, 100 revs per minute. High cadence to begin with. 10 seconds to go. Think about what gear you need. Get into the big ring. Three, two, one. And spin, 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 100 reps per minute. Six out of 10, get the leg speed up. Up, 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 up. And if you're struggling here, don't worry, it is tough getting going again after a little piece of recovery. We're all in it together. So we're gonna continue like this, high, low, high, low, and then we're going all out at a high cadence at the end. Eight minutes and two minutes all out. It's getting spicy. If you were going to eat takeaway chicken, you would be adding the chilies in now. <laughs> One minute to go, keep it spinning. Hundred reps per minute if you can. Go a little bit higher. I'm sitting at around 105. 
you can get close to my leg speed, brilliant. 45 seconds to go, and then we're gonna knock things down to a lower cadence. Thirty seconds to go. The sweat is pouring. That is what this session is all about, getting the work done. Twenty seconds to go. Keep it spinning. Focus, don't let the leg speed drop. Ten seconds. And three, two, one, lower cadence, up the cassette, 60 revs per minute. Engaging all those muscles, really feel the legs working. I'm gonna try to be keeping the resistance on the trainer the same and just changing your gear to manipulate your leg speed. That way you can keep the effort level similar and your cadence is the only variable that's changing. And I'm starting to sweat so much that my cap's falling off. Man, how are you getting on? Yeah, good. That first kind of 30 seconds was a bit, well, I couldn't quite settle into it, but now I feel after I've taken that 30 seconds just to find my rhythm, back in it. Good work. And it's tough, these little two minutes, but they are kind of, you want to aim to settle down into them. You're getting the work done, but you're not pushing past your limits. You're saving that for that final two minute burst. Thirty seconds to go. Then we're going to up the cadence once more. Wind things up. Fifteen seconds. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, and spin the legs. Effort level the same, up to 100 reps per minute. Straight up if you can, no messing. Hundred reps a minute. And we've got one more block at a lower cadence, and that final all-out push to the line. Keep it going up, 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 up. Come on. Easy to let the concentration lapse. Keep spinning. Don't want to lose you. 100 reps a minute. Spin, 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 spin. Keep pushing halfway through it. Spin those legs, Manny, come on. Up it, up it, up it. Knock the gear down a little bit if you need to, just to keep the leg speed. Whew, 30 seconds to go. We're into it now. We're in the thick of it. Twenty seconds. Keep with me. Ten seconds to go. You can do it. Forty minutes through the session already. We're flying it. Four, three, two, one. Low cadence. Up the, up the sprockets. Up the gears. Down to sixty RPM once more.
And then we have that all out two minutes. High cadence, nine out of 10 perceived effort. It's game time coming up right now. <laughs> Focus on your pedal stroke. Keep sipping, now's a good time to get the fluids in. I like to do these sort of sessions when I was just starting training again, after some time off. I wasn't doing too much volume on the bike and just kind of getting back into training, getting the legs moving. This is a good one to do. Autumn period, start of winter. You get it done out on the road or on the trainer. The trainer is definitely easier to get this sort of session done. Really effective getting the work in in one hour. Maximizing what you have available. Thirty seconds to go. Then it's game time. All out, two minutes, spinning the legs. Think about what gear you'll need to be in. And really quickly change that cadence too. Don't let up. Don't waste any time. It's straight up into the higher gear. Focus. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's do it. Two minutes. Up, 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 up. All out. Rinse it. Squeeze those levers. <laughs> Up the cadence if you can. This is all out now. This is all you got. Spin the legs. Keep the effort going. Keep your upper body still. Don't lose your form. Relax your shoulders, don't over tense your upper body. Like a hundred meter sprinter. Calm on the surface, driving below. One minute to go, keep with me, keep it going. Some rest coming up. Spin, 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 spin. The legs be drop. Whoop! -a. Thirty seconds now. Come on, nearly there. Nearly there. Up, 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 that's what I like to see. How are we doing? Catch your breath, get some water in. That was the longest two minutes of my life. Brutal, brutal. Ooh. That's what these sessions are all about. Suffer now, live like a champion. Manny, how are you getting on? I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, I've got sweat in my tough. eye. <laughs> that was tough. How does this one compare to previous training sessions you've done? I think it's right up there. It's not the hardest. It's that high leg speed when you're trying to get on top of that gear when you're mm. going really hard. It is brutal. But in all honesty, I think that was the hardest little block in this ride. So we've got about 15 minutes to go. You're nearly there, 45 minutes in. That was a solid 10 minute block. Now I'm we have some more low cadence work coming up. 
but we're not going to dip into the high cadences again. We're up at the intensity level, but we're going to focus on keeping lower leg speed. We've got one last one minute all out effort to go. I'm not sure you can get any harder than two minutes full gas at 110 RPM. Well, I'll, I'll raise you to that, Manon, and I, maybe next time I'll make it three minutes. It's okay. I'm happy with that being <laughs> the hardest. <laughs> no, but you are right. Oh. That sort of effort level and duration does just get you, doesn't it? It's not pace, it's just all out suffering. Yeah. Ooh. One minute to go, recovery. Last few sips of water. And we're going into a three minute effort. Five out of 10 on the effort scale and we're dropping the cadence down. And then we got a one minute ramped up effort and another one minute. Nice. And then we've got a cool down. So this will be the last, last solid bit of this block. And then okay. an ample cool down to bring ourselves back to earth. 20 seconds to go. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah. Well, with yeah. you. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Three minutes, 60 RPM. Slow again on the leg speed. Five out of 10 on the effort scale though, so push in. And after the work we've done already, you'll feel this one. So if you're suffering at home, we all are too. Reps per minute. Stick with my rhythm. Oh, man on a Manny, Morgan, Abby. How are you all doing, team? Good. Good. Bringing it home. I'm getting a little bit tired, not gonna lie. Come on, man, I'm doing well. Need some inspirational quotes, quotes in this next one, Connor. Inspirational quotes? Yeah. Okay, give me a second, I'll think of some. Okay. I look forward to them. I have a lot in the bank, but I don't know if you're ready for them. I'm ready. <laughs> I need them. One minute 30 to go, low leg speed, still pushing five out of ten. Feel those legs burn like TNT. That's the motivational quote. What was? <laughs> Feel the legs burn like TNT. I've realized I'm not good on motivational quotes. I you just to... said you had loads. Okay, I'll keep thinking. Anyway, bear with me. One minute to go at 60 rows per minute. <laughs> 60 reps per minute, keep it going. Then we are going to up the effort level to 8 out of 10. <sighs> legs of steel, people, legs of steel. I'd rather carbon. Twenty seconds to go, and then we're going to up the effort level. Last little stint now in this session. Going in for it. Five, four, three, two, one. Up the effort level. Change it on your trainer if you can. Eight out of ten. Keeping the cadence low at 60 revs per minute. 
great one for working on your sprinting power, this. This is just pure power. End of the ride, pushing through the gear. Getting over that steep climb. Hanging onto the wheel. Not taking any prisoners. Twenty seconds to go. If you're feeling good, if you feel like you can, we're going to up things again to ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Here we go. Still on the low cadence. Three, two, one. Let's go. One minute. Come on. Push. Push. Come on! Do not lose me yet. Last bit. Last bit. Keep on top of the gear, keep pushing. Under 30 seconds to go, and then you've made it. Fifteen seconds, come on. This is it. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, done. And knock it down. Woo. That was hard. Oh. Keep pedaling, man on. Keep spinning the legs. It's We're into the cool down now. It's a different kind of hurt though with slow cadence efforts. Yeah. It's like a gym session. It is, yeah. That'll be brilliant for when you need to engage those more explosive, higher intense efforts. Get you over the terrain, get you over the hills. Keep you in a group. And that was a tough session, there's no line about it. So we have got a longer cool down now. Come to seven minutes to go on the session. This is all about taking things down and not finishing it on the right page. So we've got another minute of this. One out of 10 effort level, really easy. Spinning the legs. And we're gonna notch things up a little bit again for three minutes. Just at five out of 10 effort level at your comfortable cadence. And then we're gonna have to push it right back down again for a last bit of easy riding to finish off the session. Whew. 40 seconds to go. And then one last little effort, just bringing things down so we're not finishing right on that final one minute all out effort. Keep the fluids in, start to rehydrate now. Twenty seconds to go. Do let me know how you got on with the session in the comments below. Let me know how you feel the next day and the days to come, if it helped you when you get back out on the road. I think this one will. I think you'll feel it. It'll be a good one for you. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. And I'll up things. Five out of ten. Comfortable cadence. Just pushing a bit. This is a cool down, so don't overexert yourself, but just not easy spinning. Just putting a bit more tension back in the legs. We gradually ramp things down again. Manny, how are you getting on over there? Are you still with us? Just about, barely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're coming to an end. Oh, it's been a bit spiritual, emotional. <laughs> we're going to send you back to London with legs of steel. <laughs> You'll be killing it. <laughs> I feel like I've been on a journey with you today. Oh. That's what it's about, Manny. It is a journey. Every ride is a journey. Depends where you end up. In our case, we haven't really moved anywhere, have we? <laughs> well, it's a mental journey, man, as well. <laughs> yeah, true. It really has been emotional. I'm like crying right now. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't be upset about <laughs> it. <laughs> It's tears of joy. You sure it's not the sweat, Manny? <laughs> <sighs> 
Let me know if you're crying at home too, in the comments section. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, don't tell I, don't, I want you a happy face at the end of the session because it's been an hour long and you've done amazing to get to this point. It is a tough one. There's um, no two ways about it, especially with that leg work with the low cadence, the high cadence, and an hour on the static trainer is tough. So if you've seen it through to the end, massive congratulations, well done. And thank you for joining us. It's been an honor as always. Nearly there on this effort now, a minute to go. Manon, how are the legs doing after that? Yeah, I think doing a warm-up like this where you just rise it up a little bit definitely helps the legs. Um, I feel like at the time when you're in it, you don't want to push that little bit harder. You just want to spin really easy and get off. But adding the tiniest bit of intensity to the cool down does really help the legs. Yeah, it's so tempting just to jump off the bike. Yeah. But if you can keep the legs spinning, just devote a bit more time to cooling down properly you'll feel so much better the next day because the legs can be sore after this one, especially that low cadence work. So you may feel it tomorrow morning. 20 seconds to go on this. And then we're gonna really, really back off and have three minutes. Nice and easy to finish off. And if you're hurting like me, you can show your solidarity by typing hugs in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> and knock it off easy now, last three minutes. Give Manny a massive shout out in the comments because he's been doing incredibly well. Absolutely smashing it. And I've been loving some of the sessions Manny has been leading himself. So do check those out on the channel if you're interested in getting some more work done today or perhaps tomorrow or whenever it may suit. Massive thank you to Manny for joining us. You'd be doing well to do another session after this session. You'd be doing very well. Yeah. I think you'd be packing it in a little <laughs> bit. That'll be a big honest. day. And thanks to Manon for joining us as well. Abby and Morgan. Been a pleasure to have you with us. Thanks for suffering along. <laughs> Let us know in the comments how you found the session and what you're up to after it. Hopefully recovering well. Hopefully recovering well. <laughs> Resting, getting the right nutrition in, keeping off the legs, maybe a massage on the foam roller. Yeah. Remember to rehydrate now because that's a long one. And that time period on the bike will take it out of you. Get a snack in straight away. High protein if you can, because we have done some strength work today. And some mineral waters. And some mineral waters. Because as you can see, I am absolutely soaked in sweat. And I'm craving something salty. It shows you I've lost a bit of sodium. I've got Walker's Crest if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling like some salty peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea sometimes. <laughs> bit of natural yogurt is my favourite after a session like this. Natural yogurt, a few handful of nuts, a bit of fruit. That's your protein and your sugars. A bit of good fats, everything you need really. Coconut water as well. Love oh. it. That is a luxury though, I must admit. Okay, 30 seconds to go, then we're all done, everyone. So thank you so much for joining us. It's been an honour to share this session with you. Something a bit different, changing the pace of the pedal stroke, working on some strength and some high cadence work. Thanks everyone for joining us. Man on Manny, Abby, Morgan. Get some recovery in now. Take it easy. And we'll see you on the next session. I think I need to go and sit on the sofa with some salty nuts now. <laughs> <laughs> That's our cut off. Thank you. <laughs> See you on the next one. <laughs>